given the name Eli Natan to our son in honor of two of our grandfathers. Uh, first was Heather's maternal grandfather named Eli and my paternal grandfather Natan. <laughs> <laughs> I was only 15 or 16 when my grandfather passed away. We lived in different cities, he in Miami and I in New Orleans, but my family visited him often during our summer and winter breaks. My grandfather had an important impact on my life, and it's really an honor to be able to name our son in his memory. I, I remember my grandfather as a kind, gentle, and loving man. The thing I remember most about him was how positive he was. He made friends everywhere he went. I remember how he treated everyone well, regardless of their status or position. It always took a little longer to get anywhere we went because he would stop to talk to everyone he knew. I also remember how he loved to tell stories. He had stories for every occasion, and he had a way of connecting with people through those stories. I hope for, my hope for Eli is that he can find as much happiness in life as my grandfather, and that he treat everyone with the same kindness and generosity. My grandfather Pat passed away about five years ago. Not a day goes by that I don't think of him and smile. For most of my life, he lived around the corner from us, and rarely a day would go by that I didn't see him for breakfast in the morning, as well as later in the day at one of my sports games for supporting me in some other way. He was kind, compassionate, loving, funny, honest, and just a good, decent man. But most importantly, my grandfather was a giver. He did not give us presents, but instead he chose to give up his time. He loved to do errands, and people would be surprised at how long a few little errands would take him. It was because everywhere he went, to the tailor, Al, to the bank teller, and to the dry cleaner, Carmen, he spent extra time asking how they were doing. He would always carry around pictures of his favorite subjects, his grandkids. Not only that, but he would often have a recent article with him from the local newspaper about our accomplishments in sports. He would make sure he copied enough to give one to each of the people who he encountered during his errands. Still now, when I go to the Taylor L, he has pictures of all my brothers and sisters and me up on the wall. Consequently, all these people were at his funeral. This is just one example of the hundreds that I could share with you to help you understand what a wonderful man my grandfather was. My hope is for little Eli to learn not only the importance of giving, but also to be able to gain satisfaction from it, just as my grandfather did. I hope that we will teach Eli to become a true match, embodying all the character traits my grandfather possessed. I always called Pat my buddy. I feel blessed to get to use his name for my new life.